Why does Ryan leave his trainers in the kitchen? They stink. Babe, everything stinks when you're 15. Yeah, well, they should all have moved out by now. We should just have this place all to ourselves. They, they will shove off once we're married. Mm. And if they don't, I'm going to tell them to. No, patience, love. Only a couple of weeks now. <laughs> oh, uh, Bob got back to me, by the way. Bob? Yeah, phoned me last night. Well, it was 3 o'clock this morning, just finished a gig. And the answer is yes. The answer to what? Will you be my best man? Right. You don't sound thrilled. I met him. No. All he has to do is turn up on time and not lose the ring. Mm hmm And give a speech that won't turn me pews. I will vet every word. No, I think I need to do that. That's not necessary, love. That's not necessary. Better dead than late for school. In a life, Mum, anyway. It wasn't my fault. Liz and Vernon were at it in the bathroom. You what? She was scrubbing his back. Oh, rather her than me. Mm. Yeah, even you and Steve aren't that sick. No. Mind you, we don't stay up half the night playing computer games either. It wasn't half the night, it was... It was late enough, and that's why you're so tired. I'm not tired. We need another bathroom. No, we need a place to ourselves. That's what we need. <sighs> the press. <laughs> Blimey, is it 2012 already? I'm not doing this for medals. I'm doing this for results. Oh, Ryan, sights you see when you've not got your camera. Go on, love, get to school. Bit late, aren't you? Fancy a lift? Why are you going to carry me? Car's not doing anything. No, you're all right. I'll get the bus. I'll meet my mates. <laughs> well, don't say I didn't offer. <laughs> Why do people want to sweat at this hour of the morning? I don't know. See you later. <laughs> See you, kid. <clears throat> Coffee? Toast? Why? It's called breakfast. Never heard of it. So, you'll soon get reacquainted with it once you get a job. I want a job. Yes, you've come back here to sort yourself out. Why? Well, it's obvious enough. This is Eileen's house, and if you want to stay, then you're going to have to pay your way. I can't go chasing after jobs till I go shop him. I've not got any interview clothes, have I? Do you think you could? Lend you a couple of quid. I'm skint. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't. Right, well, you're going to have to pay it straight back. You're loaded. There must be a few hundred quid in there. It's not mine. What are you doing, minding it for a friend? No, Sean lent it me. Do you think he'd cut me a wedge? <sighs> Look, it was a favour and, um... Well, Jamie doesn't know about it, so I'd rather you didn't mention it. Why would Sean... Look, are you going to keep your mouth shut? For hard cash? Who wouldn't? Put your foot in. So you don't mind? I thought with Amy being a flower girl, you'll have enough on your plate anyway. Yeah, I suppose I will. I know Bride has two men giving her away, so one of you has to be left out. Andy's me. Well, yeah, but we see little enough of Andy. I don't want him sidelined. Oh, no, that'd be awful. Mm. <sighs> anyway, she will be the centre of attention all day. You've enough on getting her ready, doing her hair, putting her makeup on. Makeup? And her nails. Look, no, she's not even four yet. She don't need any of that. Steve, son, listen, if it bothers you that much, I'll demote Bob and make you best man. Oh, isn't he lovely? Uh, well, you know, you and Bob have been knocking around with each other for years. You could reminisce at the drop of a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas I really wouldn't know what to say, so... Yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks, anyway, I'm touched by the thought. No. Hey, don't you worry. You'll be at the heart of everything. Yeah. Even though I know you love Andy more. There you go. See you later. Mm. Do you want me to meet you in the robes after? Uh, no, I'll get you back here. Your wife OK with you mauling other women? Ex-wife. She'll have some fantasy land. Yeah? How long did it take you to notice? Too long. I'll see you later. Thanks a lot for last night. I'll meet you down here as soon as we close. Keep your nose out. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah. Are you going to shower before you come to work? Mm. 
Sorry, Audrey. Oh, sweetheart. Forget the time, it doesn't matter. I don't suppose you slept much last night. Nope, it just not turned all night. I bet you did, I know the feeling. I mean, all those arguments whirling around in your heads. No, and I still don't know what I want. You know, Maria, you are in a good position to have a baby. Am I? Why'd you say that? Well, you're not a child, and I mean, this could be the right time, eh? Yeah, but it's how things are with me and Liam, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, the sooner you talk to him, the better. Oh, don't. Even thinking about that makes me feel sick. Why don't you go around and see him now before we start work? What, and tell him in the factory? With all the girls flapping their ears? Well, arrange to meet him later then. I mean, do something, Maria. You've got to make a move, love. No, I will. I'll, I'll go in a minute. I'm going to pluck up the courage. Okay. Wednesdays aren't that bad. At least there's no boring maths. Yeah, and it's double PE. Well, you know what? What? I got my kit. Bates, he'll kill you. I'll borrow one, he won't notice. Oh, my dad's mate's got one of those. Same colour. Oh. Yeah. Hey, didn't I expect to see you? No, um, hey. We can discourage social calls during working hours, sorry. Take no notice, she's just in a bad mood. Yeah, we'll make it snappy. I've got work to do. Sorry. She's paying me back for something I said before. Must have hit a nerve. Look, um, I just wondered if you fancied a quiet night in tonight, you know? You and me. Good music, nice food. No one to bother us. It sounds good. Uh, Carla's watching. Oh, right. Look, why don't you pick me up later when you're over, yeah? OK, as soon as I'm done here. OK, see right. you later. See ya. Well, hey, about time. Traffic jam. What, the nursery? Flipping bathroom. My mother and that bloke are soon have the privilege of calling daddy. They floss together. I've seen them cutting the turnouts together before now. <sighs> it's the effect on Amy I'm worried about. I don't blame you, kid. For the sake of the kid's sanity, move. Any minute now, Vernon will be buying them a new love nest. <laughs> Some hope. Do you want decent coffee? Well, where are you going, Brazil? Roy's. Take it or leave it. Uh, oh, hang on. Hello. How are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. More good news. I'm joking, what tomorrow? That, I just wasn't expecting it, that's all. Yeah, it's brilliant. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course I will. Yeah, all right, yeah, bye. Flipping it, no way, it's me dad. Coming out of prison tomorrow. That is good news. Yeah, yeah, I'm really pleased for him. Not sure how my mum's gonna take it, man. Right, you open the front door. Right. That's all right. You lock the car up, and I'm going to have this delicately balanced. You sure you can manage it up those stairs? Uh, yeah, I think so. I tell you what, you stand behind me, and if I fall, let me bang my head on every step that saved the flat screen. Got you. <laughs> oh, come on, Steve. You know how much I hate doing the morning shift. Look, I've got to pick me dad up. I can't let him come out of prison on his own. What's in it for me? Nothing. <laughs> hey, listen. Have you still not told your mum yet? Nope. You're trying to keep them apart? Well, just until I tell my dad about Vern, isn't it? Oh, he's gonna love that. Wait till I tell him they're getting married. That'll put a smile on his face. He's a bit of an old bruise, your dad, isn't he? It's all right if you don't annoy him. Ex-wife, copping off a little drummer boy. Will that annoy him? Airport runs for the rest of the week. What? What, I want? Well, it's not going to happen. Well, Daddy gets the bus, then. Airport runs for the next two days. Deal or no deal? Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Cheers. 
Cheers. Hi. Two white wines, Violet, please. Okie doke. That's quite a thirst you've got. Uh, uh, um, no, no, one's for Maria. She's my stylist. She's coming over now. Oh, well, if she doesn't turn up, I'll have it. No, you won't. Um, sorry, Audrey. This is my loud, nosy sister, Lauren. I would like to say that she improves as she gets to know her, but she doesn't. Oh, well, I'm very pleased to meet you. I didn't know Violet had got a sister. She can't be bothered to stay in touch. There are reasons for that. I'll stay with you, not me. Now, girls, 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 come on. Well, your sister must be doing very well for herself, Violet, because I can't afford to shop in them places. Hmm, Lauren's always had big ideas. I've done pub work, too. And I'm better than you, Ash. Have a cross and I'll show you. Over my dead body. And by the way, if you leave those bags there, then somebody is going to spill a drink on them and the management will not be held responsible. So, uh, why don't you run along home, eh, and put them away? Do you know what? I think the girl's got a point. Bye. <laughs> well, she's certainly got an eye for the lads. <laughs> yeah, she's like that with everybody. Isn't it just me? I'm just going to sit down, Violet, so drink safe. I thought you said she was broke. Yeah, she pleads poverty, but she's always got some cash hidden somewhere. In fact, she has done me a favour. Well, she's done us a favour. How come? She's lent me the deposit for the flat. You what? Well, not all of it, but most of it. And how has she lent you that much money? Well, she's my sister. Why not? You'd do the same for Warren. I might. But it's not a gift. We've got to pay it back, but there's no rush. But just do me a favour and don't mention it, eh? Best left between us two. You've told me now. Yeah, but say nothing, cos I know what she's like. I'm sorry, Vi. I've got to do something. All you've got to do is take that money over to the landlord. We wanted the flat and now we've got it. It's as easy as that, is it? Yeah. Hiya. Hiya. You heading to the Rovers? Where else? Yeah, me too. Me and Liam. Thought you might be. Um, Michelle, can you have a word? Yeah, sure. It's just that... What's <sighs> that? I don't know how to say this. Listen. Don't be taking any nonsense off my brother. If he's been messing you about... Oh, no, no, he hasn't. It's... <laughs> well, I'm pregnant. Congratulations. That's good news. Is it? Well, yeah. I mean, as long as you're all right. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Good. Liam pleased? Well, he doesn't know yet. I've only told Audrey. Look, I didn't mean to blurt it out like that. I'm sorry. It's all right. Can I talk to you properly? It's just you might be in there and I don't want to go straight in. Come round the back. Cheers. At last. Been looking for you for ages. Good word. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Can I catch up with you later, honey? I really need to speak to Maria. It's important. What will it be long? Oh, you go through, Maria. Cheers. Well, just give us about ten minutes or so. It's a bit... Well, I'll tell you later, maybe. All right. Oh, uh, was that her? Yep. Well, is she going to start work then, now? Nope. She's in the back with Maria. Doesn't want to be disturbed. Was that women's talk? Probably. We'll give it a wide berth. Mm. Right. All fixed. Hope no one's been desperate. Give that man a pint. Uh, listen, thanks for coming so quickly. And uh, hey, don't send me the bill. He's the boss. You. Hey. Give us a pint, will you? And some for Maria. Uh, no, no, I've got her one, Liam. Uh, Maria's in the boat with Michelle. With Michelle? Yeah, talking about uh, women's things. Well, should we go and drag them out? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, put another one in there, Steve. Yeah. <sighs> Makes the heart grow fonder, huh? <laughs> Look, Maria, sometimes people think that being pregnant's the end of the world. No, I don't think that. It's just. taking you by surprise? Yeah. Well, are you sure you've not made a mistake? I mean, it can happen. No, I've done two tests, Michelle. They've both been positive. So, how do you feel? <sighs> not sure. Nervous. Well, no, I'm scared, actually. I just didn't see it coming. Not a chance to get used to the idea yet. Well, it's early days. I can't think about anything else. Look, I don't know if this is a help, but, um... Well, Ryan was a total surprise to me. 
How did you feel? Confused at first. It was a bolt out the blue, but there's time to adjust. You're meant to be excited, though, aren't you, when you're having a baby? Not worrying or feeling like you're on your own. Ah, uh, Liam's asking for you. Oh, uh, could we just have another five minutes, please, Liz? Have a bar full of people out there. Oh, yeah, I, I'll be right out, honest. OK. You've got to tell Liam. He wouldn't want you to do this by yourself. You're together now. <laughs> All we've done together so far is look after the dog. <laughs> well, it's a start. Is it? Tell him, Maria. He'll understand. Happy? I'm always happy, me. I'm impressed and all. Impressed? Yeah, you put that together in no time. I'd have had to get the bloke out. Nah, these things are pretty straightforward if you read the instructions. It looks complicated to me. Well, do you know how to switch it on and off? Uh, yeah. And that's all you need to know. Uh, what if I want to program the DVD? You got me here for stuff like that. Oh, yeah, aren't I lucky? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> but not half as lucky as I am. You know, if we split up, you're not getting custody of this. I'm not worried. Why? Because that thing will be on the scrap heap long before we finish with each other. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Oh. <laughs> Flaming time. Ignore. Keep you cool. Oh, Liz, listen, I'm sorry about that. You can get off early if you want. I'll take over. You see, I don't know what women fight talk about. I mean, they bang on, don't they, all the time? And never mention football, so that matter. Shoes, clothes, hair. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Here's me thinking she's desperate to come back to mine. Turns out she'd rather talk to my sister over here. You all right now, Liz? Yeah, I'm fine, sir. No. You're going to tell him? Mm-hmm. First chance to get. Right, are we ready? <laughs> Off you go. Good Lord. So what was all that about? What? You and I, Michelle. Oh, nothing. Nothing? No. Uh, would you give us a minute? I just need a quick word with Tony. Let yourself in. Yeah, sure. Oi! Had a nice day? I know your sort. Don't mess Carla around. Whatever I do with her, it's none of your business. It is. She's my sister-in-law, and I look out for her. OK, so you don't like me and she does. Should we just leave it at that? Just watch it. I don't know what Carla sees in that guy. Oh, you forget about him. I don't want to talk about them two all night. Hello, boy. Are you glad I got him for you now? Yeah, now that he's more or less house trained. Yeah, well, there's bound to be the odd accident, isn't there? Oh, cool. Something wrong? No. You're not dumping me, are you? No, why'd you say that? Because you look miserable, you sound it, and you've just spent half an hour with my sister. I was telling Michelle something else. Something I should know? Yeah. What? I'm pregnant. <sighs> right. Quick, while she's away with the mixers. Uh, don't say that about my mother. Oh, look, you've got three minutes at the most. Well, spit it out. It's me dad. He called this morning. He's coming out of prison. That's good news. Yeah, I'm sure my mum will see it that way. Well, I mean, once she's got her head round it, you might have to give her a couple of weeks. He's coming out tomorrow. Oh. Still, I mean, your mum's moved on now. She's got Vernon, hasn't she? Ah, take it. Your dad doesn't know about Vernon, then. Hmm. It's going to be bad enough telling him that she's got a boyfriend. Never mind the fact they're getting married and they've set a date. Hmm. Won't be an easy conversation to have. 
No. No, it won't. When did you find out? I did tests yesterday. You should have told me. Why put yourself through all that worry? Oh, I didn't know what to do. Look, um. Look, I know it's a shock to you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You're not. What? I don't know, feeling sick or anything. <sighs> no, it's a bit early for all that yet. Well, I know this wasn't what you expected me to tell you. No. But I had to. Yeah. Yeah, of course you did. And and it's great. Is it? Well, what do you think? <sighs> I'm not sure. Need time to think. We both do. Look, I'm gonna go home. No, don't. Maria, stay. Come on, we can talk about it. No, I will, I'll go. I've had two days to think about this. You've only just heard. That doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. Look, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah? Bye. How's Liam going to cope with that one? Now, next, the story continues in the final dramatic conclusion of the bill. While over on ITV4, Jake and Eric are on a desperate hunt for medicine, but instead find themselves trapped by a hostile group. There's no way out in Jericho.